Let's take a look at slip rings and why they're important and why you might want to use them in your prototyping project. If you look at this little robot here, Sparky, it's got this ultrasonic sensor here for taking measurements of how far away walls are or objects so it can avoid them. But what if you wanted this ultrasonic sensor to go all the way around? You could put a gear on here, enabling this to spin around and around and around. Right now it's just a servo, or you could use a continuous rotation servo. But eventually these wires are going to get caught up. Or you could create something like a wireless connection, but now we have to still power this separately. It gets a little clunky, and that's where slip rings come in. A slip ring, like these, have 12 wires on one side, 12 on the others, and they are connected through a series of small metal rings inside, and they have kind of like a motor, a brush on them, and that makes an electrical connection. And what's interesting about these is you might think, well, I can't really send data through them. They might not be reliable enough. They actually are. I can demo really quickly how they work. If I were to take this coin cell battery and an LED, I have one right here, and I were to just temporarily, let's say I tape the red to positive and the black to negative. I'm just doing this to make a quick temporary connection. And I go through here and I find my positive and negative. Again, I'm gonna use a little tape just to make a very quick temporary connection. My positive goes on the red wire here. And my negative on the black wire. You can already see the LED lighting up. Let me put a little tape on here to make it a little more secure. So the power is being transmitted from the coin cell battery through the slip ring here to the LED. Now this is what's kind of neat. If I were to hold the base, I can twirl this around essentially forever. And you can see there's no loss in electricity going through here. Think about how you might incorporate a slip ring into your next project. They're very handy to have and they're great for robotics.